Hi guys, uh, just wanted to thank you for your feedback regarding uh, network share settings or Samba shares in Linux Lite. And uh, I want to give you a heads up on Linux Lite uh, network share settings from uh, 3.9 forward. We've made some changes to it and uh, I think this is going to simplify the work and uh, it should be easier from, from now on. Anyways, let's, let's get into it. Let's go into our manual and uh, network share settings, how to create them. So let's go ahead and create our Samba password for our account. In my case, is Rafi. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, create my Samba share password for Rafi. And now we're going to create we're going to add Rafi to our SMB users file. That's the default. I'm going to replace it with Rafi and save the changes as usual. Yes. So from now from now on, that's pretty much all there is to it to to create your your first user or your first standby user and uh, and a password. We already did those two commands. Very simple. Add your user and add it to the SMB users file. Now from there on, um, we did have heard uh, some issues with the firewall. Let's go ahead and take a look at the firewall. The firewall is enabled by default in Linux Lite, and there are no rules for Samba so far. So that's that's okay. That's expected. Now, as soon as you launch your network share uh, settings and authenticate, it's going to update the NetBIOS in your Samba configuration for you automatically, so users don't have to um, spend time on it, or it will prevent users from making mistakes, like not setting up the proper the proper host name. And if we go back to the firewall, I'm pretty sure that the rules for Samba access to allow Samba traffic, they're already in place. So that's happening automatically. Let's go ahead and edit our shares now. And the basic configuration is there for your Samba server. Uh, the host name is being updated. That's my computer's host name, Linux Lite 34. Let's see. There you go. It was up um, up here. It was updated automatically, and all I need to do is create my my share folder. In this case, I'm gonna name it Shares. I'm gonna want to change it and save that. Just one single line, actually, just the name of the folder that I want to share, and uh, create. Let me create that folder because it doesn't exist yet in my home directory. And that's all it takes now. Once you restart the service, I'm pretty sure we're going to be able to access our share from uh, Windows or another computer on the network. So I have a Windows 10 machine here. Let me go to network. There's going to be my Linux Lite 3.4 there listed. It's going to ask you for your username and password, obviously. that That's the username. That's your account's username and the password you set up for your SMB. And now when you authenticate, oops. I probably entered the wrong password. I don't remember the password right now. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. And Windows just froze. <laughs> okay, well, um, <laughs> okay, there it is. Yeah, it, it it froze a little bit. It looks like I didn't enter my password right the first time. And uh, it just decided to freeze on me. But anyway, anyways, there is the share there. And I'm pretty sure we can read and write. Let's take a look in our shares there. And there it is. 
So that's that's how it's going to work from now on. Um, we also added just just before I let you guys go, um, we also added some new features to Network Share Settings. Uh, Network Share Settings and uh, has to do basically with uh, checking the configuration. For instance, if we uh, make a path change something that is not critical but doesn't have the proper name, once you save it, it's going to give you an error and it's going to let you know, hey. Uh, there are some uh, configurations there. There's the share is flagged unavailable because you did something wrong. Go back and and fix it. Or we can continue. And uh, yeah, I know there are errors there. Let's just restart the services. And I'm pretty sure we can access the machine, but the share is not going to be there because yeah, there you go. We made a mistake. So it's simpler, it's working now, it's checking the configuration actively, and uh, I think it's a, lot, it's a lot easier to handle now. Anyways, I wanted to, to let you know that we do hear uh, from feedback, and that's important. And not only for us to hear from your feedback, for, but for you guys to provide it as well, because that helps us think in better ways to do things for users. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed this video, and uh, I hope you enjoyed learning slide 3.4. Take care.